let's learn about some tasty, healthy Mexican food that nourishes both your body and your soul. Please welcome Eric from Sabor Mexicano. All right, thank you everyone for, for having me here today. I'm really excited to be here to talk to you about my family's business. So yeah, I am the, the CEO of Sabor Mexicano and um, we always focus on transparency and simplicity. And we try to show this in, in, all, in our packaging. We want you to see the true colors and textures of our food. We believe in the real flavors of our ingredients. We use only a handful of ingredients in all of our products and we combine them in a way that really highlights the true flavors. We have a line of tortilla chips, salsas, plant-based quesos, and Mexican style potato chips. A little bit, a little background on Sabor Mexicano. We are family owned and operated. My uncle Jorge Saldana started a taqueria in 1994 in Berkeley, California. And his focus was to serve natural Mexican food made with sustainably sourced ingredients. These ingredients came um, straight from our farm in Sonoma County. And in the 90s, clean Mexican food was not very common. Mexican food was really seen back then as cheap fast food. And my uncle really wanted to change this. He wanted people to learn what Mexican food is really all about. So in 2011, we decided to take this farm a step further and we created the Sabor Mexicano brand. My uncle always had this idea of packaging our family recipes and selling them at local grocery stores. And we originally started selling chips and salsas at local farmers markets in the Bay Area. At one of our farmers markets, we had a, a frequent customer that was actually a Whole Foods market buyer and he loved our products. He really gave us the opportunity to sell at his local store. From there, we grew organically store by store. Jumping to today, I'm really excited to announce that as of September 1st of this year, we have expanded nationally with Whole Foods Market with seven SKUs, and we are now available in over a thousand stores. I think I hit something. Sorry about that. And um, okay, so our mission is to create authentic, simple, healthy, and flavorful Mexican food, the same way you would at home with fresh, pure, and simple ingredients. Our philosophy is to create homemade quality food. We want to bring our flavors and culture to your table. And we don't just wanna be a chips and salsa company. We want to offer a full line of Mexican products down the road. And you know, we really are blessed to having my uncle on our team. He has over 30 years of experience cooking. A little bit on, on our partners. Um, ingredients is very important to us. We will never sacrifice the quality of our ingredients. We always push to use locally grown ingredients when possible. As we grew, we did move to co-packing. However, we continue to stay very connected to the sourcing of all of our ingredients. In terms of our line of chips, we are co-packing locally in California using local ingredients. Um, in terms of our dips, we did decide to go a different route. We decided to reconnect with our roots and we partnered up with a mission-driven co-packer in Mexico City. This co-packer is a certified woman-owned business. They employ women over 40 who have experienced some form of abuse in their life or come from a troubled past or having difficulty finding employment. These women are really given a second chance and we felt very connected to this philosophy. So we decided to partner and give them our full salsa and queso business. Because of this partnership, they were able to hire more women and expand their small business. Our partner also has access to fresh, sustainably grown ingredients year round from local farmers that we know by name. In the United States, we do have access to sustainable local produce, but it is seasonal. The rest of the year produce is imported and it is cut green so that it arrives to our grocery stores ripe. Our partner is cutting our tomatoes off the vine when they are fully ripe and full of nutrients. And you can really taste the, the difference in the quality in our products. To us, this partnership really is a win-win. We are happy to support sustainable farming as it is better for our planet. And a plus is that we're making a difference in these women's lives. And a little bit on our sales. Last year, we did $2.6 million in sales. This year, we're on track for 4.1. Next year, we're projecting 7.1. And in 22, we're projecting 12 million. With our Whole Foods Market expansion, we are looking to raise some funds to support our national launch. We're looking to raise $1.5 million, half of that going into marketing and the other half going into operation and sales. 
And that, that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for, for having me today. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. I love the, the history behind everything you're doing. And I have to say, we, we got a um, bag of the chips in, in our box and they disappeared in about um, five minutes <laughs> after the box Perfect. was open. So I'll, I'll pass it over <laughs> to questions. Hi, Eric. Um, great presentation. You know, the funny thing is, as a consumer, I've been familiar with your products. I live in Berkeley, so I've been to the restaurant. Um, I just never made the connection um, between the two. So super happy to see you guys um, on deck pitching. Um, I guess I'm just wondering about um, the structure. So it looks, it sounds like it's a family run business. And so is it primarily you and your uncle that's running the business? And how are you structured with the restaurant? Are they completely different enterprises, just commonly owned maybe? Yeah, the Sabor Mexicano brand is separate from the restaurants and the farm. It's own, It's all owned by my uncle, but he did choose to, to separate this side of the business. It's me, my uncle, my brother, my two cousins, and my other uncles. So it's it's all family. And, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to be working with them. And, you know, I always look forward to Mondays because I, I get to work with my family. Hey, great, great presentation, Eric. Um, like Esther, I've been a longtime fan of the restaurant, and I just wanted to show you, I think I got this two or three days ago, and it's empty. Delicious. <laughs> great, um, great. Um, can you just talk a bit about how many SKUs you've got out there and, and what the product roadmap looks like? Sure, we have 14 SKUs. Uh, we previously, for a long time, just pushed our tortilla chips, which is why everybody's really familiar with that. Um, back in December, when we met with Whole Foods Market, the global team, uh, we presented our line of salsas in sh shelf stable, and they they absolutely loved it. So um, we have four shelf stable salsas that are, are national right now, and they were looking for a plant based queso that was shelf stable. And my uncle jumped on that on that opportunity and came up with a a great recipe of plant based quesos. And we have two: we have an habanero and an original which launched as well on September 1st uh, globally with Whole Foods. Well, we definitely have more products down the road. We're going to be presenting more products in December and every year from there. Fantastic. That's awesome. I'm excited, excited to see what, what's up.